The fight against any pandemic requires global solidarity. This is common sense. But as coronavirus infections escalate in the U.S., the propaganda campaign within the country and against China intensifies. An analysis of politicians' remarks and media reports found three golden rules in U.S. attempts to shape the coronavirus narrative. Rule one, politicizing the virus. Despite scientists' warnings, U.S. President Donald Trump downplayed the virus, calling hysteria over it a democratic the hoax. This is their new hoax. We have lost nobody to coronavirus in the United States. While accusing Democrats of politicizing the outbreak, Trump did not waste the chance to attack his rivals. The Democrat policy of open borders is a direct threat to the health and well-being of all Americans. Now you see it with the coronavirus. Politicized anything to Pro-Trump media immediately chimed in with the president. They first misled the public that the coronavirus is no more dangerous than the seasonal flu. At worst, worst case scenario, it could be the flu. I feel like the more I learn about this, the less there is to worry about. I was about to say the same thing. The standard flu every single year kills tens of thousands of Americans. And then claimed panic over the virus was to sink the economy and hurt Trump's chances of re-election. Both of those residents were elderly and had traveled internationally. So when you hear the context, it's not quite as scary. Just looking for any and every way possible to bash President Trump. Rule number two, play the blame game. As the outbreak spiraled, the Trump administration desperately lashed out to cover up its mismanagement. As the virus was first found in China, the country has become the top pick in Washington's selection of scapegoats. Despite the fact international experts are still tracing the origin of the virus, Trump and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo have repeatedly called it a Chinese virus. Chinese virus. Chinese virus. The whole world is suffering because of it. This is the Wuhan coronavirus right. that's right. caused us in the China's antivirus efforts are recognized by international organizations and governments. Its strict quarantine measures are believed to have been vital in curbing the spread of the disease, and its experiences have informed policy around the world. Hundreds of thousands of people in China did not get COVID-19 because of this aggressive response. It's a remarkable uh, response that's being organized in China to contain the virus. Corona. But the U.S. is deliberately turning a deaf ear to it. For American politicians, underscoring China's missteps has been a, quote, time-tested approach to distance themselves from critics. Rule number three, protecting the U.S.'s image. As coronavirus spread across the globe, the U.S. started to position itself as the, quote, greatest humanitarian the world has ever known. A State Department cable obtained by the Daily Beast reveals the White House is pushing officials to paint U.S. antivirus response as, quote, extraordinary humanitarianism. The State Department continues to do an enormous amount of work to review developments inside and outside of China and to help countries who have been stricken by the virus. We've, we're offering them tremendous help. We have the best in the world for that. We've done a tremendous job. But is it the case? At least for China, the answer is no. In the face of a global pandemic, it's time for solidarity, facts, and moving forward together. But some American politicians and media outlets are trying to tell the world a different story by reshaping the coronavirus narrative.